All right, how to stop stuttering on your name. Now, this can be your name or this can be any feared ward. I'm gonna give an example in this video of a client of mine that I helped overcome a feared ward. It wasn't his name, but it was something else I'll get into. And it works, I've done this with many, many clients. It works on your name, it works on any ward that you stutter on consistently and now it's in your head. And anytime someone asks you, hey, what's your name? You get caught, you're tense, you're stuck in this limbo of in space, knowing you can't say this word without blocking. And fear, doubt, anxiety strikes you like lightning. And you're frozen and no air comes out how to get over this, all right? First, first off, if you don't know who I am, my name's Chase Gillis, and I help people overcome stuttering by addressing the real root issues. No speech techniques, no ear devices, no tricks, but by really what is going on? What the fuck's going on? Why can you speak fine in a room by yourself and not in a group of people. What's the difference? We realize what the difference is and we work on that. So how, how to overcome this feared word? Let's, for simplicity's sake, let's just say it's your name, all right? Let's say you always stutter on your name. How to get over this? You, you understand that you can say this word fine in a room by yourself, right? If you're watching this on in your bed like this right now, try to say your, your feared word. You can say it. You can say it. If you do stutter, if you do stutter on it, it's, it's because it's, you're just in your head a lot right now. It's just because you're thinking about it a lot right now. But even if you do stutter on it when you're in a room by yourself, it doesn't tense you up. It doesn't stress you out. It doesn't put you in a panic state. You can say, ah, Chase. It might only block you for a little bit, but 99% of the time, your feared words that you stutter on a lot don't even exist in a room by yourself, except if you're really, really, really locked in your head. So this understanding means that it's the difference between in a room by yourself and another person is what? External judgment. The external stimulus that you're trying to avoid of being judged. This feared word of yours, let's say your name, is going to come out in the environments, the hardest, the hardest blocks, the most stress, the most panic in the environments you feel is most important to say your name fluently in. Meeting new people um, at like social events, the people that you view as high status, you're gonna block a lot more with these people. So because we are stuttering more, we're blocking more on this feared ward with these people and overall stuttering more as a general with these people. But let's just say it's just this feared, this feared ward, it's just your name that is the issue right now. How to get over this is to see the correlation to the value you place in the environment. So how, how much you get, you're trying, how much energy you're putting in to try to be seen in a certain light in this environment. How, how much energy you're trying, you're putting in, how much attention you're putting in to try to not be judged, to try to be cool, and to try to be liked. The, the more you're trying to be liked, the more you're trying to be seen as cool, the more this feared ward is going to pop out, as again, in a room by yourself, it doesn't. So there's a correlation with the amount of value you place in other people and how much you block on this feared ward. Here's where it gets deep, so really pay attention here. 
since this feared ward will become a lot more prominent and it'll be an actual issue, a challenge for you in these environments, we have to understand since we're trying to be cool, since we're trying to make them like us, what about the blocking? What about the stutter makes us, do, do we believe makes us uncool, makes us unlovable? makes us, makes, we have the story that they will lose respect. They will not take us seriously. If we, if they might think we're weird, if we block on our name. We have a story in our head that blocking on this will make us look X, Y, Z. You can fill that in yourself. You can, I can start this sentence for you. When I block on my name in introductions, I think people think of me as blank. What, what, whatever your first word is in your mind, it's most likely not a positive thing. If you're watching this video and this is a challenge for you to get over this feared word. And we must understand that in order to, for this feared word to no longer, and this challenging word to no longer be a challenge, we must remove the story we have that blocking on this makes us look weird, makes us unlovable, makes people not take us seriously, lose, res lose respect, all these things. And how to do this, and this is like the, the part that you have, to sink, you have to sink in. And I think it's best for me to, ex to explain this to you through an analogy. If you've seen Nightmare on Elm Street, you know there's a character called Freddy Krueger. If you haven't seen it, there's a character called Freddy Krueger. He's a scary guy that can kill you in your sleep. But the only way for him to kill you in your sleep is if you fear him. Because once you fear him, you create this monster and now he, you enable him to enter your dream because you're fearing him. But people who don't know about Freddy Krueger, they're not going to enter his dream. And people that um, don't fear him, they won't end, he won't enter their dreams and try to kill them. It's only the people that, that fear him. And it's the same thing with your stutter. All right. If you are constantly trying to avoid blocking because of the beliefs and the stories you have connected with how it makes you look like, when you block on your name, you are fearing it and you're enabling this monster to come kill you. Not actually, but it feels like that. And we know if, if we never had an experience of blocking on our name, we wouldn't do it, right? We, we already know that. It's because we've experienced it. And now every time it comes up, we tense up. It's the same thing with Freddy Krueger. If we never knew who Freddy Krueger was, he can never enter our dreams. So there'd be no reason to fear him. But since we do know who Freddy Krueger is, since we do know we block on our name, this is how you, re how, you re how you release this fear. The only way to not fear Freddy Krueger when you know he can kill you and you know about him and you're like, fuck, I don't want that to happen. And now you fear him. And now he's in your dream and you're trying to avoid him constantly. The only way, the only way to ever stop fearing him is to see that he can, actu he can actually do no fucking harm. There is nothing this guy, it's, you have to walk up to him. You have to stare him in the eyes and see him as just this fucking puppy dog. Say, oh my God, I was wrong the whole time. You can't kill me. You're a little, fucking little cute little puppy dog. All right. And once you see that, you can wake up and go to bed the next time knowing there's no reason to fear him because I see him as just this cute little puppy dog. He can't kill me because I confronted him. It's the same thing with your stutter. You have to understand your stutter does not make you unlovable. It's this monster. It does not make people not respect you. It does not make people think you're weird. It's a monster you created in your own mind because you, because in the past you 
have tried to fit in by doing what everybody else is doing. And it's scary for you to talk in a different way. But just because we talk in a different way doesn't mean we're not going to be loved. Doesn't mean they're not going to respect us. We have to feel that. We have to feel that inside. That it doesn't matter. Like it re- One, nobody gives a fuck. We, we have to understand nobody actually gives a fuck. Okay? People only care if we stutter if we care when we stutter. People do not care if we do not care. That's how it works. And when you want to overcome this feared ward, we have to see it as, we have to see the stutter as nothing. As nothing. Like, no, why would I fear that? Why? Why would I fear that? You have to understand, one, judgment of other people has no effect on your self-worth. And this takes a little bit of work to detach your self-worth from this person's opinion of you. And two, you just must change the way you relate to your stutter. So it's no longer something you resist. It's no longer something that makes you look weird, uncool, stupid, whatever it may be. And once you're in a relationship with your stutter, where you see it as, why would I fear it? Like, it it actually doesn't make sense. And for me, I'm at that stage. Like, it really would not make sense to fear my stutter. It... It doesn't make sense at all because I know if I stutter calmly, it puts people at ease. They love to see it. And because I know that and because I've worked and trained myself to stutter calmly, I'm I'm honestly excited sometimes when people see me stutter. I, th- I think it gives me an upper edge in a lot of conversations. If I'm able to stutter calmly, I set the tone. I make other people feel safe that all versions of them are acceptable. doesn't matter. We're not talking on a tightrope here. You can talk however you want. And to be the person that can, imp- that can give that permission to other people, that's amazing. All right? you have to understand the stutter itself isn't bad. It's only the resistance you have to stutter that makes it unenjoyable for you to speak and unenjoyable for someone to listen to if you're pushing through it. And it's a thought that you think it makes you look weird that will put you in resistance to make other people think, oh, that kind of looks weird when he does that because you're fucking fighting it the whole time. All right, that's how you overcome it. I hope this analogy sinks in with you. You feel that shit. And know that it's not some speech technique. It's not some breathing technique you have to do to overcome this. No, you have to overcome the fear. You have to see Freddy Krueger can do no damage because you change your relation. You confront him. You see, hey, actually, there's nothing this guy can do. It's all in my control. And if you feel that way, about your stutter, you're actually set free. I've had many, 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 many words that I would continually stutter on, continually, my last name, uh, the word stutter itself, and many, many others, even like starting the conversation, I would stutter a lot, like trying to say hi or ask a question. And I've helped many, many, many people overcome their feared words too with this, all right? So this is a concept you have to sink in, um, see how it sits with you. And if you wanna work on this, you wanna overcome not just this feared ward, but your whole stutter, the authentic way, then look down below in the description. You can book a free call with me one-on-one. We'll talk, see if you would be a good fit for my program. If you are, we'll create a step-by-step plan of what it would look like to overcome your stutter and work together. So I love you and I'll see you in the the next video. Peace.